wanted to come back and show you a quick way to do the distance formula. Uh, you do not have to do this, okay? This is basically what quick recall people do. Um, but I want to make the point here because some of you will relate to this and it'll save some of you some time and probably show a little deeper understanding than just merely using a formula. Um, remember that I said that the, the distance formula actually comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Um, so if you've got the point negative one five, which is you know, somewhere over here, and you've got the point 7, 11, what you're really doing is you're finding out how far you go over. That's really just the distance between the two x coordinates, okay? Notice, negative 1 and 7 are 8 units apart, okay? The vertical side here is coming from the difference between the y's. In other words, how far apart are 5 and 11, okay? 5 and 11 are 6 apart, okay? Remember when we talked about Pythagorean triples, okay? I've got a little Pythagorean triple here. This is a 6, 8, 10 triangle. I'm done just like that, okay? Again, what did I do? I looked to see how far apart the x's were, and I looked to see how far apart the y's were, okay? And in fact, you may even want to line it up. Uh, you can do something like this, and you can say, okay, how far apart are negative 1 and 7? They're 8 apart, okay? Which, same thing as taking 7 minus negative 1. How far apart are 5 and 11? They're 6 apart, okay? There's my horizontal side, there's my vertical side. You square them, add them together, take the square root, you end up getting 10, okay? Um, in other words, I'm gonna get a right triangle with side lengths of 6 and 8. It's gonna be a 6, 8, 10 right triangle, and that's gonna give me my third side, okay? So just to show you, and, and these are the same problems I did in, in the, uh, the main video. But just to make the point here, uh, I've got 3, negative 1, and negative 2, negative 13. Um, again, I just figure out the horizontal side and the vertical side. In other words, how far apart are the x's? They're 5 apart. Okay? How far apart are the y's? Negative 1 back to negative 13, that's 12 units. Okay? Uh, this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle, okay? If you drew it, you'd have a side length of 5 and you'd have a side length of 12, and your hypotenuse length would be 13 between them. That's all that's going on, okay? Um, even if you don't get something that's a triple, uh, for example, the last one that I did uh, in the original video was 2 negative 1 to 6, 1. But same thing, I just looked to see how far apart are these? Four, that's my horizontal side of my triangle. How far apart are these? Two, that's my vertical side of my triangle. And this isn't gonna form a Pythagorean triple, but those are two sides of a right triangle. So I can do four squared plus two squared and take the square root. That's 16, that's four. We're just taking the square root of 20, which ends up being two times the square root of five. So again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about there, it's not a big deal. Um, you still need to know the distance formula regardless. But I do think sometimes, because textbooks have a tendency to use triples to get whole number values, sometimes this kind of approach will help some people have a little bit more insight, maybe be a little bit more efficient. So I thought I'd throw it out there for those of you who are interested.